tomorrow go in the hospital and we're taking the baby from you. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. My baby can't breathe. My baby can't breathe. I can't breathe. It was affecting the heart rate of the baby. Dave, you gotta learn how to like not block people when you act, okay? I've been just gave I just gave you a Dear you to whomever may concern, it's me again, Jaden. David, also known as DJ Liddy. Judy. Also known as I'm Dream. Mommy. Also known as DJ Jazz Bash. And then there's you. We like to call you Rigorita, but the world would know you as JD. We moved our family 1,500 miles away to follow our dreams. But when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. These are the memories that we want to share with you. Hey guys, hold up, wait. It's blurry, wait, focus. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Dear You. This is the second episode of season two. Dream, you wanna come say something to them? Say welcome back, guys. Welcome back, guys. Okay, this is the second. You, you don't have to repeat. This is the second episode of season two. The baby's in the back crying, so excuse her because me and Dreamy is about to go to the store. But I just wanted to give you guys a little dialogue on what's going on in this season. Okay, so in this episode, it's about my delivery. I was 35 weeks pregnant, and I was going to the doctor twice a week because I had a high-risk pregnancy. The same with Dream, um, risky pregnancy. So that's pretty much why every time I find out I'm pregnant, I pretty much deliver my kids. I don't have a second option because um, being pregnant with medical conditions is kind of risky and like very rare. I went to the doctor every, uh, twice a week when I started to be in my last trimester of pregnancy. So one day I went to the doctor to get fetal monitoring. They monitor the fluid the baby is in. They measure to see if the baby is growing correctly and they also measure and um, look at the umbilical cord and things of that nature. So one day when I went into the doctor's office, they noticed that my heart rate was really, really high and it was affecting the heart rate of the baby. So they sent me across to the emergency room to get evaluated, to be monitored or whatever. So when I went into the hospital, they, their biggest concern was my heart rate. It was very, very high. It was really elevated. So they kept me in there for a few hours. Mind you, I was just going to the doctor's office. So I left my kids at home and we're in LA with nobody. So I was going twice a week. So I didn't see any difference from me going this week. And when I went to the hospital after, uh, you know, I went to the doctor or whatever, they kept me there for a couple of hours, but they were scaring me because they was talking about induction and I wasn't prepared to have a baby. My kids was at the house. My mom was out of town. I was all alone. I didn't even have everything that I needed for the baby. And the house wasn't prepared. I didn't, it was just, I wasn't ready. Okay, long story short, they ended up sending me home. So when they sent me home, the next day I had a doctor's appointment, a regular doctor's appointment. When I went into the doctor's appointment, she asked me about the emergency visit. I told her about it. She said, well, tomorrow go in the hospital and we're taking the baby from you. So I'm like, what the? <laughs> Looking at it. so okay so and the f***ing camera dying so this is 24 hours before I give birth to my fourth child that nobody knows about but us <laughs> I've been pregnant for nine months 37 weeks with the baby and nobody knows I done did 50 videos with the 30 states and nobody recognized. My mom just came yesterday. Mama, where you going? Are you driving on the Sherry's house? I drive what? That. Come on. So I thought I was gonna be able to vlog, but she just told me I gotta drive. Look at the car. We got a new car for the new baby. About to go pick up her car seat and install it in the new car. And dreams, there she go be. Then Davy, Jada, me. We have no room for. Can I have a ride? Or can I ride with y'all? Hi, people. I'm a long way from home. 
Say something to the baby. Hi, baby. Dear you. Part two. <laughs> Part. Now we are at Walmart. I don't drink coffee. This is what I use on my belly. I need some after I give birth because the belly looks a mess after you give birth. Hey, dream girl. You want to say something to the, the vlog? Say welcome back. Tell them where you at. Where are you? Is that grand? There's grand. That's good. Say something to the baby. Hi. Can I say the name? Yeah. Hi, I don't know the name. Okay. Anyway. Hi, JD. This is the last day. But you are, you are proud of my mother's stomach, and it's gonna be the last day my mom is gonna be out looking decent. And this is gonna be the last day that I have three kids. I'm now about to have four. <laughs> this is the last day until I see your face, JV. Who do you think she gonna look like? Me. Me. Obviously, the dream. What do you think baby gonna look like? Is that why they like this? Why we got a light, right? You can't hook up a light. Huh? You can't hook up a light to this. Oh, so are you not gonna talk? I know you before. Yeah. We're on our way to the hospital. I think we both come. So. I'm walking to the car for my mom. It is like 9 a.m. May 31st. Oh, Lord. 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 And I'm about Lord. to get Lord. it due. <laughs> this is my mama first time driving in LA. Ooh. No, it's not. She it's actually it. helped drive to LA. Yeah, but I ain't never drove, we drove through the city. We drove 26 hours and for some reason she scared the I never drive drove through the city. 10 minutes away. I never, they drive through the city like they on the damn highway. Crazy. They don't have no rules of the road here. At least in the loo, we turn on our blinker. We let people know what we about to do. These mugs here, they just get in front of you. Motorcycles riding between traffic. What the hell? Mm-mm. Eh, I been mean, they killed somebody. Let's make this school a ride. Girl, I taught you. And I'm about to get in the You can set your camera right on the end of the bed. I mean the end of this table. So it is, what is it, 2.30 mom? I don't know if you can see that over there. But it's 2.30 and I've been here since 11 o'clock and I just got put on. Contractions. Um, I was only a half a centimeter dilated naturally, which is nothing. And I think my cervix was closed. So this Pitocin is supposedly to thinning out my cervix so I can dilate farther. And as soon as I hit three centimeters dilation, I'll be able to get medicine to start. She keep on um, stealing footage and they told her not to. I don't want them to put her out cause she all I got. Every time she turned her back, I was like. I wanted to do a, ch I should have did a TikTok challenge with her. I'll get back to y'all because I don't feel like talking.
too scared they're gonna put you in the trance and you ain't gonna come up out of it. Me and my kids literally listen to this to fall asleep and everything. What if you can't come up out of it? It's just a relaxing. It's almost like smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you could compare it to something, you know how people smoke to calm down. Okay. This listening to music is calming me down. But take your energy like the lady singing. <laughs> This stuff works. You're gonna make me go to sleep. We're gonna be in here knocked out. But you standing in my face with this camera is not helping. <laughs> okay. I promise, Mama. How did you know I was quiet? I How you feel, know? You can feel people staring at you. <laughs> so when I gave birth, I tried to do a natural birth. I only used music to meditate. I didn't want any medication. I didn't want an epidural. I wanted to feel the 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 pain of pregnancy because it's okay. go take care of her. Sorry. I'm sorry. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, grandmother. Uh huh. I always show. I'm So I'm gonna let you check out footage or whatever and I'm gonna talk more about this on a second video but I'm gonna post it on my YouTube so click the link in the description I'm gonna add my YouTube in the description I'm gonna put like oh I'm sorry baby I'm gonna put like a whole lot of um on my YouTube just talking and giving y'all like the rundown and recap of everything because it's a whole lot of shit that's gotta be said. Plus me and Dream need to go to Best Buy to get a memory card and we also need to finish packing because we're moving and we're gonna record all of that as well too. So stay tuned. Say bye guys. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.